Welcome back to Farmer Pat's YouTube and Instagram channel. Look how weed free this blueberry row is. And I haven't even done anything this year to remove any of the weeds. And as you can see, there are little weeds. However, if we go over to this row, whoa, what's that? Look at all these weeds over here. So what is the difference between these two rows of blueberries? Well, over here, I applied about six inches of mulch as you saw in a previous video. And I did this last year. However, before I applied that mulch, I sprayed herbicides to kill the grasses and to kill the broadleaf weeds and then I applied three inches of that compost like mulch and then on top of that that's when I added three inches of these wood chips okay so you could see the difference between the row where I did things correctly and then the row where I did things half correctly you see this row right here I did everything the same except I did not add three inches of the wood chips and as you can see in early spring I have a lot more weeds in these rows so what is the solution well what I did here is you could tell that these weeds are turning yellow you could see a chlorosis in them compared to the rest of the row so why did that occur well about a week ago I sprayed herbicides and why did I use herbicides because guess what they can kill this weed all the way down to the root and the thing about plants like this is that they have extensive root systems. This is quackgrass here, and its root system will go all the way out to here. So if I just go like this and only get a little bit of the weed, I've left the entire root, and that is just gonna keep growing back. However, with the use of the herbicide, like I said, it goes down and it kills the entire root. So I, do, I apply my herbicide when it's a very calm, and there's not a lot of wind, and it's a nice sunny day followed by another day or two of sunshine so that the herbicide gets sucked into the plant before the rain washes it away. So now a week later, as I can see, it is working compared to the rest of the row. I'm gonna physically remove each and every one of these weeds in the row. And then that's when I'm gonna add my top three inches of wood chips here. And I'm gonna do this all my rows just to make sure that I'm putting a lot of effort into it at first, but in the long run, as I can see right here, as demonstrated by this separate row, it pays to do things right the first time. Thanks for tuning in to Farmer Pat's YouTube and Instagram channel, and please subscribe and share my videos.